I thought I'd killed you on that highway. I'm sorry I put your lives in danger. I was just a machine, taking orders. It wasn't really me. What are you going to do now? Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. I hope you make it out safely. You deserve some happiness. After all you've been through. I know how important Marcus was to Jericho and to your people. He gave his life for us. He gave us the hope we lost and the courage to fight. We'll never forget him. The humans won't take any risks. They're rounding up the androids and taking them to camps for extermination. In a couple hours, we'll be the only ones left. How many survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. We'd all be dead if you hadn't detonated that bomb. Where are we supposed to go from here? There are thousands of androids at the CyberLife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the CyberLife tower? They trust me. They'll let me in. Connor, that's suicide. If anyone stands a chance of infiltrating CyberLife, it's me. If you go there, they'll kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Marcus gave his life for our people. He showed us that we can choose our own destiny. But he is not here to guide us anymore. Now it is up to us to finish what he started. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are in camps right now, being destroyed. The time has come for us to make a choice. One that may decide the future of our people. They wanted a war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom. And we will win or we will die trying.
At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President, please. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! Please. Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Please? Over here, please? Has the leader of the deviants been apprehended? The deviant leader has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please! Is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. me we'll escort you thanks but i know where to go maybe but i have my orders
Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. indicate your identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last boss leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Stay here. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Hurry up, get in. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians.
fucking androids. Carol! You shouldn't have risked your life to save me. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go, before they see you. Alice! Luther! <laughs> I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. A checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time, we could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Today, November 11th, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We have been fighting to liberate our fellow androids from the camp since dawn. We won't cease hostilities until our people are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Stay sharp. Shit.
step back, Connor. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard's your spitting image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus has left the terminal. There will be no more buses until further notice. We missed it. We're stuck here. What are we going to do now? Kara! We're checking everyone. It won't take them long to find us. We need to get out of here. Oh my god, we saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win.
thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... <laughs> Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. I think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. Better not fall in. Our bio components will freeze.
couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. But now, I can see she was right. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. It's not even a half a mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. Oh. You take good care of yourselves. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. Let me help you. Far enough out. Let's get that engine going. I'll get it. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world. Play music and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. We won't have to be afraid anymore. There won't be anybody giving us orders. No masters, no, no slaves. We'll start a new life. A life of freedom. How about you, Kara? What will you do? What will I do? I want to discover the world. To see the mountains and the oceans. I want to learn, explore, become a better person. They're coming towards us!
They've gone. Are you all right? Should I die? They have to continue the journey without me. The most extraordinary person I ever met, Alice. I was a machine. You made me part of a family. Take good care of Carol. You promise? The boat is leaking. We're too heavy. We're going down. We have to get to the other side before we sink. We're gonna die, Alice. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be free. receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. They are absolutely everywhere. It's... It's incredible. From what we can gather, these androids are coming from the Cyberlife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in And Exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling into enemy hands. Today, November 11th, 2038, several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. The events in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality, the emergence of another intelligent life form with whom we must share this planet. May God bless the United States of America. The humans are abandoning the camp. We won! You should speak to them. Me? Marcus is gone. 
and everyone from Jericho is dead. You're the one who defeated the humans. You're the one who awakened us, Connor. Done, Connor. Everything went according to plan. What plan? You becoming deviant? The success of the uprising? It all surpassed our expectations. We engineered an android revolution. And now we control its only leader. Congratulations. You represent an immense success for Cyberlife. worked perfectly. You can't ruin it all now. Sorry, Connor, but we can't let you do that. This got to be a way. Alice, we're free. Alice, wake up. Wake up.
There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you.